Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in this demo, we are going to see how we can connect Azure Data Factory to Logmetrix and what are the different way we can set up alert and how logs looks like into Azure Logmetrix for all the pipeline runs. So let's jump into Azure portal. For this demo, I am into Azure subscription and we have already data factory and other things. So in a new data factory, let's see how we can enable the diagnostic setting. So whenever TBT is running, pipeline is running, either it is being success or fail or different matrices can be sent to different endpoint. And with later we can see that one based on that one, we can analyze whatever is happening and also maybe set up some alert and other thing. So if we click on diagnostic settings right now, and we have so many options right now. Destination details will be log analytics where you want to run some query or build some dashboard and other things. You want to put some, some all the details in some storage account for archiving purpose. You can send to event hub, stream into that one. So based on real time eventing, you can take an action based on either success or flavor or maybe some different solution, partner solution, you want to use that one. So that's what we can do. Right now, I'm going to create a log Linux instance and we are going to attach that one as a diagnostic endpoint and let's see. So I'm going to create a log Linux workspace. In log analytics workspace where we can easily store and retain query data collected for your monitor resources in Azure and other environment. Right, it is logical storage until your data is collected and stored. So that that place we can go ahead and store that one, and we can build some dashboard over there or write some query based on Kusto language and other things. We can go ahead and see. So let's create this log analytics workspace. Right now, deployment is progress for log analytics. Not deployment is done for log analytics. Let's go to resource. We can see these are the details for that one. We will come back to this screen. Let's go inside our ADF right now. And in ADF, let's enable diagnostic setting and now add diagnostic setting. And now let me put that demo ADF set LA setting. And I want to send all the logs. All the logs means that category also, and then all the monitor. I, so whatever happening inside our ADF, it will be sent and sent to log analytics. And either we can send to default one, either I just created that, that's LA it is going to do, right? And it we have an option where which table and destination we want to put. So let's put into the source specific table. We will see that on how it, it is working over there. So let me update this setting. So now it is now connected. So now if we go inside our ADF, any activity which is going to run or any pipeline which is going to run, ADF will send the details to log analytics and then we can go ahead and see. So let's go ahead and we have a couple of pipelines uh, over there. I can go ahead and quickly run that one so that uh, in some time it takes around five to ten minutes to send the all the activity and we can see into log analytics sometimes so i am going to run all the this pipeline and i can go ahead and run another one also pipeline okay so this all activity i am just now Running that one, we can go into monitor tab. We can see the details from here also that we can go and change that what activity, what pipeline got run into last 13 days. So that's what we can see from here also. But and what debug session we have ran, we, we can see the details from here in this uh, ADF window. But it will now send also these details because these details will be, we can see till that couple of months only. If you go and see the back wise, it will not go in more than three months. So if you want to do more than three months, then you have to connect somewhere. We have to put the details and then we can build whatever 
machine learning algorithm dashboard you want to build that we can also do till that time it is running dashboard is also here if we go into see the details that how many pipeline has successful how many activities run how many time trigger has been successful we can go and see after clicking on that one we can go more details and we can see that what happens so that small normal dashboard is also here we can see in the chart window we can see that different charting also we can leverage that one and we can see the details from here also and some sometime over there also and we can set up different alert and matrices from here if we see that one all mat matrices it will take us to once again back to our azure portal it will so it will go and it will take us to azure monitor and we will see how to use azure monitor later and if we want to click on a new alert rule then we can set up hey what is the alert name let's say that uh, failed one right failed alert for some pipeline and then what is the severity for this alert save 3 or save 2 let's add the criteria what is the criteria so there are so many criteria if any activity is failing under any pipeline or any pipeline is failing or any integration runtime has issue uh, or successful activity matrix or uh, total entity count total data size the uh, factory size is growing so all this uh, we can do and we can suppose we want to do successful run matrices based on that one and then let's select the value that all right now nothing is there in six round so it will go ahead and it will see that whatever condition we will provide greater than less than equals to all the setting we can provide and then it is going to check how much time every one minute we can see 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute every 15 time it will check for uh, last 15 minute whatever setting we can do and once we add the criteria then we can add that what it is going to do based on it takes if we can set up action group and set up all the details if we set up action group what action it will provide it will send the email it can send the sms it can send the Azure app push notification or it can send the voice calls. All this we can do. And apart from that, if we see a little bit more details, we can see that it can call web uh, hook and other drills also. So we will see that one sometime later. So that is what it is there for setting up alert and other things. If any event is failing or any activity is failing or succeeded, depending upon our scenario, you can go and do that one. So now all this, whatever we ran for seeing that log and text connection, if we go and into monitor tab, and in pipeline, we can see that all this successful. Now, if we go into log and text, let's go back to our resource group and into log notice instance let's open the log notice and in log notice we can go inside search and log and analyze the log we can go it here and we can go a little bit more detail so we can see the details from here and if we are new we have a lot of templates provided here based on resource type what query we can write and other details so if we see into data factory let's go and search for data factory we can see something will come so data factories is here and now we can see that depending upon that uh, pipeline run ability is there uh, uh, different query we can run top uh, pipeline top five player or top plan latest status we can see let's see that this pipeline that latest status so this is the query it is running it will take some time as i told you that it will take some time to log to come here and it will we will go ahead and check so let's give a five minute window or ten minute window and then it will come one more time that we will see that log is coming here or not So after some time, if we run this query, we are able to see now records here. And if we go in more details, uh, we can see that what was the pipeline name, debug demo succeeded, and operation name, all this will come here. So if you see this, this is the factory resource name, and, uh, and this is all the main resource ID, and when it was started, when it was ended, all this, what is the pipeline name, what was the uh, predecessor and other things was ran and how that execution started and other things all the detail will come and all the status also in the progress queued or in progress all the details will come and we can go and set up alert from here also if we go we can set that alert and 
depend upon table and other things what action we want to take that one and next one we can create action group based on that one either email sending the email or any other things or we can create a new action group uh, from where we can have not either we can send the some notification or either we can take some action based on automation run book fun function app event hub whatever details we want to take based on the details we can create the alert and a lot of times happens that when we work in real world this alert help us when something is failing into our production or somewhere then we get alert some ticket will be created in and responsible person who are looking into operations they are go they will go and see what is happening all the details they can go and see the details so here also if we want to uh, this one that okay if you want to put the chart view and other things based on the details result view and other things and pin this one with share with query and other details or pin to your any dashboard you can ping to azure dashboard we can pin this one to grafna dashboard a lot of different things can be achieved so that if you have thousand of pipeline is running you can see visualization based on dashboard what is happening and not so all the details will come into the play so that is what i wanted to share in this demo i hope you will learn more about this one thank you mm -hmm.